everybody, so I'm going to do a really quick review of this mascara. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara, and this is just a sample size here. I'll show you the packaging. I got it with Sephora points, I believe, um, and sorry for the lighting, the sun is kind of coming and going. But this is what it looks like, really super cute packaging. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the product, and then I'll show you myself applying it and give you kind of my first impressions of it. I haven't used it yet, so I'm just pulling out the wand here to see what it looks like. That's what it looks like there. It's a rubber bristle wand. It's quite big, if you can see in, compar in comparison to my eye, it's quite large. And it looks like it has longer bristles on all four, like four sides of it, and then shorter ones in between. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up. So that should be interesting. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it and then I will try it on. All right, now I have the website open beside me. I'll link it down below if you wanna check out more, but it looks like it only comes in one color, which is black. And the full size tube retails for $28, so it is definitely a more expensive mascara. It says an amped up ultra black mascara that lengthens, curls, and magnifies lashes for an intensified look while increasing lash volume up to, and this is a random number, 752%. So I'll check that out, but that is a very random number. It claims to be long wearing and a vitamin infused formula. And it's supposed to condition your lashes for a dramatic look that won't dry out, flake, or budge. All right, so that was a little quick overview on it. I'm going to quickly curl my eyelashes first because I always curl my eyelashes before applying mascara and then we will try it on. All right, we're gonna start off here. This is quite a big wand, like I mentioned. And honestly, I'm not really a fan of the rubber bristle brush wands and mascaras, but this one has had really great reviews, so I was excited to try it out. Thought I'd give it a go. I'm being extra careful not to hit my um, eyelid. So far, this is quite interesting. The longer, um, the longer ends on all four sides are kind of like combing through my lashes, like it was a hairbrush kind of thing. It's not adding really any clumps or anything. It's just separating and combing right through them. I don't find it hurting my eye lid as much as um, Benefit Their Real mascara does. Like it looks just as pointy, but it doesn't seem to bother my eyelid when I do hit it, so that's nice. I'm seeing a lot of black, but not a whole lot of length. Definitely seeing a bit of volume, but so far not a lot of length. I am gonna finish this one coat Go to the other eye and then come back and try and do a second coat. Alright, so that's pretty much one coat there. I will say it is curling my lashes. I can see that it's um, holding the curl that I already did on them and I can tell that it's curling them a little bit more. So I'll show you from the side here, but that's what it looks like. Um, and I think it did a decent job. So far not my favorite, but I'm only on the first coat. So I'm going to do the other eye and then come back to this first eye. Alright, I'm heading in for coat number two of this first eye here. I'm curious to see if it dried. It doesn't appear to have dried too much, so that's good. Or if it has, it doesn't make it hard to get the wand through. You know how some mascaras, if you leave it too long, it's almost impossible to add a second coat because you kind of just messed up what you already placed down, but that doesn't seem to be the case with this one. I can tell it's adding more volume for sure, especially down by the root. But again, I'm not really seeing it adding any length. And that's something I, that's really important to me because I usually have pretty um, stubby eyelashes. But as far as volume and separation goes, I'm really, really impressed. So there's two coats there on this eye right here. It gave a really full lash. I don't know if you can see all that volume up there um, close to my root, but it just kind of fanned everything out, made everything thicker. Everything is super even. I can still pull my wand through no problem. It's not clumping up or anything like that. I'll show you a side view here of my eyelash. So I'm actually really impressed. Although it's not my favorite mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and keep applying while I talk. Um, personally, just because I have pretty short lashes, so I always look for lengthening, I think a lot of people would really like this because it's given a lot of volume, like I said. It didn't clump, it's easy to apply, it's nice and black, and it's giving you like a nice, um, plush look, that's a good word, plush, um, full lash effect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try and do the bottom lashes. Although, <laughs> I'm trying to flip the wand, because like I said, it's got different lengths. So I'm trying to use the longer bristles. This would definitely take some getting used to, I think. So, so far not my favorite. 
for the bottom lashes, I forgot to mention, this is definitely more on the drier end of mascaras. It is not a wet formula by any means. Um, it isn't too dry. It's kind of that perfect um, wet to dryness, I suppose. Alright, so here are my finished lashes. I thought I'd come in nice and close so you can see the full effect of them. Um, I think it did a really good job. I mean, I wish I got a little bit more length because I do have kind of shorter lashes, but overall it pulled all the little lashes out, it separated. It just, I think it looks really nice. I should also mention while I was applying it, I didn't notice it um, flaking or falling underneath my eye. I don't have any black little specks or anything like that. I'm curious to see how it holds out through the day, although it claims to be long wearing. So I definitely think this is something worth checking out. Specifically, if you already have naturally kind of longer lashes and you just want them to look um, big and beautiful and bold and black, I think this is a really nice mascara. If it is in your price range, that is, maybe get your hands on a little sample guy like this to try it out first. But overall, I'm pretty impressed. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below um, and I will try and answer them. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!